So let's just jump right into it. I basically just wanted to talk about the State of the Union. I watched that yesterday and um, I enjoyed it. I think he did a good job. Uh, whoever he had write that for him did a great job. <laughs> He did a good job delivering it. I'm, I'm very surprised. I never considered Donald Trump someone who spoke very well or anything. I was surprised. He did a good job. So there are a few things in there that, if I remember correctly, were things I didn't agree with. He was talking about a $1.2 trillion to, to improve our infrastructure. I am not pro that. I don't think that the federal government should be doing that. I think if anybody is going to do that, and it has to be government, it should be state. Um, the other thing, he he basically lied. <laughs> he went on this thing where he was talking about how, and these tax cuts are going to last forever. They're not. They're only going to last four years. And I was disappointed to hear that come from his speech. I don't know if that was in his speech written or if that was just something that he said just because he was emotional or whatever, um, but that wasn't true. So I was not happy to hear that at all. Uh, he also, what I really, really liked about it is I've seen several um, State of the Union addresses and almost no one brings in people from the country and almost no one talks about how this is the country for the people by the people and that our job is to serve the people so that message right there like I said whoever wrote that really understands pretty much what you know America is about it's about the people um, so I did enjoy that I liked how he brought people in as he's doing his narrative you know to show to give examples of why the whatever it was he was talking about was needed he had the extra guy who was from North Korea defected to South Korea visited China had all of those problems um, if you had seen it on Twitter he was the guy holding the crutches that just blew me away that's that that man's a very brave man he's doing good work and I hope he continues to do it um, Let's see, what else happened? This is sort of off the cuff. I didn't write anything down. I didn't like all the, you know, they're standing, giving him a standing ovation every time he says something. That's annoying. I'm one of those people who's like, okay, okay, three times. And then let's finish it. <laughs> you know, maybe they were emotional. Maybe they weren't. I don't know. But it, it got annoying after a little while. And some of these people in here are like 86 years old or something. Excuse me. Um. They need to be able to sit down. I brought some coffee with me today from the Dunkin' Donuts. I love Dunkin' Donuts. Hmm. So, <clears throat> what did you guys think about the address that he made? What, what did you guys think he did a good job? Do you think he covered things you wanted to hear about? Do you think he sucked? What did you think? Just let me know either at me on Twitter or let me know down in the comments. I uh, have started, I, I did not, I said before that I was almost done with Thomas Paine's Common Sense. Well, when I went to open the book again, that wasn't true. <laughs> so I did not remember that correctly. So I'm still going through Thomas Paine's Common Sense and I will be doing sort of like a book review of it. That's going to get kind of long. So... I might split it up into two. I don't know. It would probably be easier to split it just to do one and get it over with. So that's basically what I thought about the address. I I don't know. I Donald Trump is doing a better job than I thought he was going to do. I did not vote for him. I voted Constitutional Party, which I can't remember who was on there, but I wasn't going to vote for Hillary. And I really didn't want to vote for Trump, but he's doing a better job than I thought. So <clears throat> there's that. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about, and this is why I write things down so that I can remember, and I can't right now, so I think I might just go ahead and end this. Uh, I don't know. I, I would love for someone to make America great again. <laughs> I think America is great already. I think we're starting to turn around. I seriously hope, I seriously hope that we become freer and not 
more regulated and more controlled and more any of that other stuff. Freedom is what makes everything run. It's what makes everything good. It's what makes everything worth dying for. If soldiers don't have something to come home to, if soldiers or whatever, uh, if soldiers don't have something to come home to, or people don't have something to fight for, or people don't have something to see a future for, they won't create, they won't design, they won't do those things. So that's the way I see it, and I'm hoping we're headed towards a freer future. And that's all I've got right now, so I will see you guys tomorrow.